Okie dokie. In this problem, they give us a few statements and they ask us which of the following graphs could represent the graph of f. So we start with statement number one. They say the curve of f is bending down for x less than one. And we'll go ahead and jump into the second statement simultaneously. They say the curve f is bending up for x values greater than one. So just to kind of simplify this, um, we can sort of ignore these inequalities because they will always be describing with the first statement how the left side of the graph is. And then this, with the second statement, how the right side of the graph is. So they're basically saying the left side of the graph should have a bending down behavior while the right side of the graph should have a bending up behavior. So bending up and bending down is basically another way to describe concave up and concave down. So anything, any curve of this behavior is concave up. Any curve of this behavior is concave down. If it's easier to remember uh, the concave up with the help of the shape of the letter U, that could be a good kind of mnemonic or something to, you know, memorize concave up curve. So it's just opening up. Uh, so let's keep going. So, uh, we, we're looking for a curve that bends down and then it bends up. So C is starting concave up or bending up. D is also starting concave up or bending up. So C and D are off the table. It looks like A and B both start concave down or bending down and end concave up, down, up for both of those. So then the third statement is what helps us narrow it down to the last uh, remaining answer. So they say f is increasing for x values less than 1. So really, a and b are either increasing or decreasing pretty much the whole time. So a is the one that's increasing because from left to right, the y values are going up. While b, from left to right, the y values are going down. Down. So if it said something like decreasing, um, we would be choosing option B, but A is increasing, so A must be our answer, bending down to up while increasing as well. So we break out the eraser and we see that A is in fact our answer. I'll do at least another example of this. I'll do it a little faster next time. Feel free to check that out if you'd like more examples.